Hello everybody. Welcome back to my educational channel, EDC English Literature. I am Ardhan today. Today, we are going to understand the plight of Miss Banare. Do you know who Miss Banare is? She is the female lead character in Vijay Tendulkar's Silence, The Court is in Session. The original Marathi drama is Santata, Kot Chalu Ae, written in 1963 and it was first performed in 1967. Originally it was directed by Arvind Despande and uh, Sulva Despande was in the main lead character. Here we are going to read Miss Banare's life and we are going to understand Miss Banare and the very plight of her from the very feminist point of view. Now, see what is the present condition of Banare. Banare wanted to live a free life, free from the patriarchal dominance and the conservative norms of the society. She displays a self-determination, self-assertiveness. And cynicism is there also, but it was in the receptive end of the conventional norms of integrity, what the society should think about you. That's the plight she has been given with. Tendulkar here tried to initiate the new form by commenting on the mendicity of the social and ethical standards existing in our society. The character of Miss Banare, as we find it, is a feminist character. When we find Tendulkar's Miss Banare, we find that Miss Banare are so relevant in our society when the rights of women are concerned. Miss Banare is well read and she is established herself as a teacher. She fell in love with Professor Dumbley as a young woman in spite of her previous failure in a love with her maternal uncle. Professor Dumbley was a married man, in fact, who only wanted to satisfy his bodily thrust. Out of that affair, she was pregnant. And she was pregnant without marriage. And this was the reason that she was discharged from hard school. Now, in that critical juncture, the play opens. It's a theater within a theater, play within a play. A group of amateur theatrical publication or theatrical uh, troupe has come into a village to perform. But just before the performance, they are rehearsing. So they are rehearsing a kind of trial court. And in that, all of our colleagues investigates her and questions so many of the things. The 34 year old Miss Banare, even being a school teacher, as I have told you, she was sacked from the job and she is now in a dramatic alliance, amateur dramatic alliance group and group theatre in there. Which prime purpose of this group theatre is to educate the public with social and current issues. Now, here the ironical is that the association chose to educate people with procedures of the court of law. But they arrived on the spot quite early and thus they decided to have a rehearsal of the mock court that I was telling you. Panare was reluctant to perform, reluctance was ignored. They playwright endeavors uh, to create a game like no serious atmosphere, of course, but soon the imaginary charges led to personal dilemmas. And the group theatre whose whole motive was to educate people, they are not educated themselves. So that is the fallacy and that's the criticism and that's the very dramatic purpose of Tendulkar to project that so-called torchbearers of social and ethic norms must learn themselves the rights 
the rights to live. Why should we question an individual with the parameters of social ethics, social ideologies, when you are not yourself educated and modern? First of all, Banner is seen in a cheerful mood of flamboyance. But she gets her first blow when Pong says, a scientist of course, in the dramatic performance says, she runs after men too much. Karnik, one of the characters, says that Banner was in love with her maternal uncle, but the affairs ended in fiasco. He further reveals her past life by saying that she was first uh, she was having some so many of the affairs. She first proposed to Pongse, then tried to deceive Rogde, young boy. Banare tries to leave the court but becomes upset when all the doors all automatically bolted from outside. In fact, she is trapped and cannot escape. Furthermore, Mrs. Asika executes physical violence to drag Banaret to the dock. She has another damaging view against Banner. Does not hesitate to say that these young unmarried girls get everything without marrying. So it directly accuses Banare of her character. She shows her doubt how can Banare remain unmarried till the age of 34? Who are they to question all these things? So whole of the scene of this mock trial, which is a drama enacted within a drama, even though it's a mock trial, it turns into a, a real trial. And the real trial of Miss Banare is on her character, is on her ethics, is on her believing or even loving. The entity of love, whom she should love, whom she should not is a personal choice but she is dragged into that uh, affairs and being pregnant without having married is the such is the ethical norms uh, that the society is putting a question and that sort of questions are being asked and she is dragged into uh, a dock in a mock trial but uh, just think the personality of Miss Banare. Miss Banare is a school teacher, she is self-dependent, educated and her, her uprightness, her characteristic strength has even such a such that she has just blown away others by her personality. But she is put into such trial in the name of mock trial and is being questioned. But Miss Banare's personality, they cannot have the parallel with Miss Banare's character. So they become uh, such a gross male chauvinistic society. Male chauvinism is there that they dragged Miss Banare into the conflict and started character assassination. So Vijay Tendulkar's this particular play is quite interesting in social parameters as well as for young readers who are just having the theatrical styles of Tendulkar. They can take this drama for reference and start studying it. It is quite easy text but the text even is interesting in its various parameters of dramatic pattern play within a play. It has some uh, stock images uh, while understanding this or uh, while reading this drama you have to get all the meanings of them but initially you can begin this drama or read it or even see the performances and focus yourself on the character of Banare and thus Miss Banare the feminist character or rather a character which tells much about womanhood and how she can perform her own duty, she can perform or see the society in its own term and how male chauvinistic society is always taking after those women and started character assassination. All these things are minutely discussed in this drama. So best wishes for the dramatic trading 
and if there is any questions that you like to ask me related to these initial posts on Daniel Court's drama, Silent the Court is in session, I am here always available to give you some answers of your queries. So like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.